How's it going everyone and welcome back. Now in the last video, I kind of just stopped it short because I didn't know how long I was running and I completely messed up. What I needed to do was continue drawing my level down here. That was the whole point of having a background layer and I apologize that I messed that up royally, but it's okay because we can fix it now. So let's just get to fixing it and we'll draw over this. And I just had a brain moment there where I was not thinking clearly and we can kind of just keep going and you can draw whatever you want doesn't really matter here I think that looks cool and for this part I just bring this down a little bit more oh man probably doing that zoomed out was not the best idea so let me zoom in and grab this color again and let's grab this there we go so now we have these things like as if they were actually platforms and that was the background and this area here you can kind of jump on and that's the background for that so that's what I meant to do and completely forgot to do it that way so I do apologize but right now let's add our player to our game so now we actually have something to move so we can add it to the level just make sure that you always go back to the mouse pointer and the tile map tool here and let's double click and add a new sprite and let's open up our images and let's look for characters seven that should have come in your in your uh, download. Of course, I still have yet to uh, handle my messy desktop. But now we have our character guy and our character guy is going to be the king. So what we need to do really fast here is kind of, we have a lot of images to sort through, but we can just select and delete and we can select and delete. And now with this king character, what we can do is we can crop. Cool. Just like that. There's a crop tool up there. And let me double check as to what the walk frames are. Okay. So we're going to set up the walking animation real fast. And we'll get into programming it probably in the next one. Or maybe we'll do it in this one. I'm not sure yet. But for right now, what we're going to do is make a new animation. We're going to call this id underscore walk and i'll get into why we're going to do it as an id oh my goodness that scared me encountered an improper argument all right i don't really know what argument it encountered but it's going to be just fine so we're going to get into why we're going to do it with the id as a prefix later on but if you've already done something like this before you might have an idea and basically what we're going to do is we're going to take one two three and four and we're going to hit control x to cut it and now we're going to go to our walk animation we're going to paste it, we're going to hit crop, and we're going to cut the other three, go down here to our animation frames, add a new one, hit paste, cut it, control X, hit crop, and you could actually, if we hit add frame again, and we enlarge the canvas here just so we could grab these guys, and we cropped it again, and we added one more frame for the last one, enlarge the canvas for him, and crop it again, and I don't think this one got cropped. So basically what we did is we cut out the very f the four frames of our original sprite sheet here, which, there we go. We cut out the first four frames, which was our walk cycle for our king, and then we put them on separate animation frames here. And just in case you did it a little bit differently, you could have right-clicked and imported it from a sprite strip if you had already cut them out. Or you could just, or, or as a uh, cropping thing, you can always just hold down shift and click crop to crop the entire animation to the same size, which is really cool. So let's zoom in here so we can actually see what's going on. So this is our king, and let's set the origin point of our players or our enemies, whatever it is, to the bottom. And let's hit OK there by hitting right click, apply to whole animation. So now if we go check out our other animations, it should be on the bottom as well. Cool. Then let's go to our bounding box. So it does have a bounding box, but let's say apply to whole animation that it is a bounding box. And let's check our collision as bounding box. Cool. So you can kind of see how our player is going to walk. That's going to look pretty cool. And now we kind of have this. Actually, you know what? Let's just delete the default animation for right now. And we'll get back to that when we add more stuff so that doesn't pop up. So now if we zoom in and we put our player down below, there we go, he's pretty much touching the ground. If he's not touching the ground, what we have to do in this case, if I can zoom in here, is we need to kind of scooch our bounding box to be by his feet. So let's just put that like that. And we could probably do the same for the top here because then we can just 
right click, apply to all animations or just the whole animation. Sorry for the loud noise and exit out. And now we can, if we doesn't want to do that, then we can turn snap to grid off and we can just move it down. Although there we go, that should be just fine. So let's hit save and now let's hit play to test out an HTML5. So hopefully my Chrome will load up here and I can show that to you. Yes, it does. So now we have our window and our window has our player with our new map in it. And again, I do apologize for not doing, showing you that in the last video. This is supposed to be kind of like the abyss and having this tile up here might be a little confusing. Maybe we'll redo that as well. But now we have our player and we have our map ready to go. So thank you for watching this tutorial. I'm sorry we haven't done any programming yet, but we are still just doing all the setup stuff and we'll get to programming very soon. I'm very excited. Thank you for watching this video. Again, my name is Jeremy. And if you did like this video and you want to see more, please like and subscribe to my channel as well as comment below if you want to see stuff in the game, something like that. I will let you know if we can or cannot do that. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.